I am back. Welcome back. Welcome back. The bell rang like a bunch of times, apparently. So you rang the ring... bell? No, that's what the ring was that we heard from your phone. Oh, well. For whom the bell All tolls. Right. Yes. What you guys thinking? I'm thinking I should ring the bell, but it seems like a big decision. Uh, I mean, it's a bell, right? It's made to be rung. Uh, bell rings once. Good is golden. Evil should exit. Mm. Mm. What are you doing? I feel like if we do this wrong, we'll die. It's fine. Good is golden. Chaos will conquer, so chaos will agree. Evil should exit. So we have that dagger. That's evil. Oh, oh, good point. But how did who? Hmm. Good is golden. You didn't find anything gold in in the dungeon. We have a gold coin though. I do have a gold coin. Yeah, um, I'm gonna inspect the bell. See if there's any like slots or anything like that. Okay. Go ahead and roll me a perception. I am uh, called, so I'll do my abilities. There are no slots that you see. Hmm. How high off the floor is the bell? Uh, about five feet. This and this massive tree has been shaped, or maybe a tree root or a tree has been shaped into a into a a holder, a holster. What what is the top of the bell called? Mm, wood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna uh, walk uh, under the bell and see if there's anything inside it. There is not. Right. Carvings. There are a few, but not near as many. It's not nearly as ornate as they outside. Does it have a uh, like a little thingy in the center of it? Like you could pull it like left to right to ring it. Um. No. You. Oh, okay. Hmm. There's a door right here. Uh, there is a handle on the bell, or the the ball part of it. Yes, that is a door. All right, I'm gonna do my uh, perception and what you call it, unlock. Okay. It is not trapped. Well, I was uh, okay, and it's unlocked. Do you open it? Yeah. So you notice, you would realize that this is some type of um, volcanic ash is spilled everywhere. You can kind of see dead grass and different things. Then you notice a hole here. Oh, okay. A hole? Is that what it is? A hole. Huh. So did you say there was a handle on the bell? On the, like, ball part of the bell, yeah. I thought there wasn't anything in the center of it, though. Oh, sorry. I meant there is a ball. Okay. okay. All right. I will I... just grab the perhaps. handle. I'm not going to ring anything. Then I will let go. Kind of wavers back and forth a little bit. But it is it is relatively heavy. I'll, uh, I'll cast Detect Magic, actually, on it. The bell is extremely magical. Oh. And extremely, 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 the highest level of magic. Bells. Oh, it's an artifact. Got it. Yes. Cool. Mm -hmm. I should ring the bell. You ring the bell? No. No, don't do it. I say that out loud. I should ring the bell. No, no, I feel like we're missing some things. Ah, oh, fine. I'll go to the spine. Move on. Uh, the the, uh, to vent my frustration. The... Does the ash seem like it can be walked on pretty easily? Probably, yes. Fuck that, we're just gonna floating disc. Floating disc is, solves all problems. That is true. It's floating disc our way across, Damien. I'm just gonna start taking through this rubble here. 
Okay. It is extremely slow going. Do you jump into the hole? Do you look in the hole? No, look in the hole. The, it is just blackness. I crack open the sun rod and I drop it in. It is extremely deep. Is there a door down there? This does not ha- appear to have a door. Cast detect magic? It is magical. Hmm. Is there a, uh, another door in here, though? No. Just a hole. Does the sunrise just keep going and going and going and going? Unlike the ocean, it doesn't fade out. It just keeps going and going, and then you just see a little pinprick at the very bottom. Well, it does end. Uh, uh, We should get out of here. I think so. I mean, it's a snake's hole. Probably a volcano hole. I don't think it's the snake. I mean, how big is the snake supposed to be? I mean,. Amy, if you want to put it this way, if it is the volcano hole, then it could be filled with diamonds and other things. Diamonds? Or lava. Alright, let's go investigate. Go down the hole in the floating disc. Okay. So, you go down in the hole. And you kind of, at the, at the, it's black all around. Unnaturally, uh, unnaturally so. But at the at the bottom, you kind of see the sun rod, and then the sun rod kind of like becomes brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. How far and down did we get? Let's say two hundred feet. Okay, not that far. Three hundred feet. Okay, four hundred feet. Uh, this is really far. Okay. So it's becoming extremely bright, and you find yourself in. Oh. Good thing we weren't splitting up the party, though. That was a good plan. Sorry. (laughs) Again, again, you're just in nothingness. Can Can I go in? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, uh,. My layers are all fucked up on those maps. Uh, so there's nothing this. Nothing. All right. Uh, there wasn't a floor like before. No, there is no floor. But the sun rod's just here on the ground. No, the sun rod's gone. Oh. You just kind of like you went down and it turned. It was brighter and brighter, and then it was like you couldn't even tell it was the sun rod anymore, and then you just were here. Is there still the hole above us? No. 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 All right, this that should not be that way either. This might have been a bad idea. He left me alone with the bells. That was a poor decision. This is true too. Very poor decision. Uh, is there a door down here? There's a door. All right, we need to open the door, I guess. All right, usual combo. So, usual combo, 30 and a 31, right? Yep. What name was written on that that gold coin I got? Artemides. So, open this door. Oh, see, I told you that rubble looked familiar. Hmm. So, Damien, do you open that door? Uh, usual combo, yeah. Okay. So, I, I just want to play this real fast. Sorry. What? Hello? One second. Okay. You open the door. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. We were skulking through this dungeon, a mighty sorrow.
Let me find this real fast. Like been a pleasure, gentlemen. <laughs> I feel like we're doing okay back here. And honestly, I'm waiting for when they're done for him to come to us and what we do for the other time. Uh. <laughs> oh. No. Be. Okay. Never stood the party. Clerics in the back, keep those fighters hailing hearty. The wizard in the middle, where he can shed some light, and you never let that damn thief out of sight. Cerulean's dead. <laughs> hey, I'm by the deep bell, I'll be fine. Oh. Uh. Unless the spell is an illusion. God damn it, why didn't I check the spell? <laughs> so I can't apparently... So I can't apparently show uh, what this is very well. This is what it looks like. It is a large humanoid frog creature with um, nails or talons that are about as long as your arm. Well, we could just shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's been down here for God knows how long in the, behind this door. I mean, it's, 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 one, it's one of those moments where I open the door, I see him, he sees me, I do a little wave, and I close the door slowly. So you just lock <laughs> it, right? You just, you just unlocked it so you can lock it again, yeah. right? Okay. Go ahead and give me um, a pick lock, a negative five for speed. You need at least the DC 15 to relock the door. Because it's, it, it's... Oh, no, 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 that wouldn't make any sense. Okay, just give me a reflex save to lock the door. Uh, reflex. Twenty-three? Either one of those. The first one was the, uh, minus five. Okay. So you barely you hear the creature thump up against the door. And it begins you can hear it clawing madly at the door. I'll just stare at Manassas like uh let's continue for I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh <laughs> uh, go over here. I guess we'll start moving the rubble, I guess. I don't know. So, we're going to go back to Gradock, Grandma Hale, and Griselda. What are you guys doing? It has been an hour or two already. I, I would like to have taken action during that hour or two, if you don't mind. That's I don't, fine. I don't think we would sit literally here. I mean, we'd probably, I did 30 minutes, probably, babies. After 30 minutes, it'd be like, okay, we got to do something. I know, oh, Damien. I think they're blood. dead. Wow. Those explosive runes I made earlier on the rubble and exploded. Do you want to try some of the other doors here? Do we should go back? Or you would all? Yeah, I mean, it's explosion. just the three of us now. Right. Well, he would have came back, so I'm guessing that didn't go good. We should probably leave a note here. You know, whatever we do, decide to do in case they come back. Okay. Uh, does anybody have bad? Ability? Do we have the supplies for that? Uh, 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 uh. There's a I mean, spider I, I, back there. I'll go out back and grab one of its limbs and rip it off. I think I have. I think I can make like uh, find something on the wall here. I'm looking through. I think I have like. So about now, I'll come back with the still bleeding spider <laughs> limb, and I'll start writing. Was here? You weren't going. And then I'll I'll look at Grandma. It's like, where are we going? Uh, I'll look at Griselda and be like, you might want to have a bit of this as well. I go, do we want to look around some more? We still have to try to find uh, the bell. I mean, there's only the three of us now, though. Yeah? That's pretty high uh, casualty rate if they're dead. I don't even know if we could get a bell that size out of here with just the three of us. Gradock. We have to go at least a little deeper here. We can't just. Why do we have to be heroes? Why can't we just be NPCs? <laughs> we can go live in peace. The NPCs get juiced in this world by lumberjack. 
Do you want me to? It was safe at the temple. Apparently not. Gradak opens a pie shop from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Life was so much simpler. Mike's like, just roll for how many pies you sell. Uh. Look, I'm not going to force you. I obviously can't take lead. It's hard enough for me just to open the doors, but nice. we should definitely should move on a little bit. Well, you can All right. you've been very, very quiet. She just got up for it. Oh. She just keep posing as a wall. Oh, yeah. shit. Now we're down to two. Well, we can leave her here. And if we hear somebody they, ripping somebody apart, we'll know there's somebody coming behind us. And now, now it's only two of us, now I'm a little nervous to open doors. <laughs> At least if we had the cleric and the alchemist, I know we have so much damn healing power, we might be able to heal our way out of the situation. If it's, it's just hard. me, action economy-wise, like, oh shit, it's hard for me to heal you. If I don't kill it in the first instant, then we're in trouble. The good news is, though, is that you're really good at killing things in the first instance, so... Yeah. Really good for us. And, I mean, as long as there's uh, an extract for me to take before we open every door, I'm feeling confident. Hmm. But, on top of that, we're a long way away from civilization. Our food went with them. I've only got sure. six... Six rations on me. Yeah, I think I have enough rations for two weeks on me. Yeah, but you're small. That's true. true. Like, you wouldn't even make a single meal for me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that awkward silence. Uh. For Zelda, though. It gotta, it gotta, it's only been 30 minutes. Stop talking. <laughs> You scared me a little bit. You know, so much time spent in the dark changes a dwarf. <laughs> You're supposed to get hungry. Hungry for flesh. Oh my god. Oh my the, god. I the cold has is, is been seeping into my bones and I need something with warmth <laughs> to it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't kick up three minutes. <laughs> That's jerky. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Turning this adventure into cannibalism. Actually, <laughs> is it cannibalism if a dwarf, dwarf eats an elf? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so not, what's the plan? Not panicking. Okay, the plan. Okay. That door has a creepy lady looking down the water. Yep, don't want to go in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't tried the door in front of us. That's true. We could also go back to the hallway and try to in the hallway. This one just led down to the cave down here. Yeah, we could also leave. <laughs> the question is, how do you leave? What do you mean, how do we leave? How do you leave? You can't you go can't through the, the wall. Boots of teleportation. Where did you get boots of teleportation? <laughs> no, I bought something else, unfortunately. But I'm really wishing I had them now. <laughs> the things ever. <laughs> what so about Priscilla there? Uh, uh, the clerics don't need teleportation. Cleric. She's st she's still t posing against the wall. Yeah. God, had to I'll leave put, now. Yeah. I'll put her in my bag. All right. Yeah, really we'll tie her on your back. People. All right. Um. His, his, the problem is that as a player, it as only being just the two of us. It is really, really scary to, to go anywhere, to check into your place. Yeah. Because we could very easily just be wrecked. I, I mean, I, I guess we leave, I guess. I mean, I mean we'll have, we could go as I mean, my we, character, I don't think that we would push on. Uh, yeah, and I, I don't think my character would endanger you, honestly. Now I'm thinking about it, I'm like, yeah, honestly. 
a couple, you know, maybe, couple, a couple of will saves. I mean, it could change the whole thing. It's like it is it probably is best probably, that yeah. we uh, maybe we go back and live in my palace. Yeah. For, let's, right, sure. let's say you guys debated this for an hour or so. Oh, an hour? Fuck that. Okay, you're just leaving it after 30 minutes, right? I mean, yeah. Maybe we talk about like I figured like literally we're having this conversation in real time. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm okay, so I'm like, I'll turn and where I was writing that message, I'll write "going home." <laughs> Such brave adventurers. <laughs> it's only two of us. Okay, so how do you go home? Oh, we just backtrack our way out, I guess. We'll try anyway. There's that. Uh, you know, we went through a wall. That's a valid point. So I'll prepare an action to uh, jab that extract into my neck. Or actually, <laughs> I'll, I'll give that to Grandma. You can, just, you can just eat the cookie. You don't have to take it in your bloodstream. Don't tell me how to take my drugs. <laughs> okay. Uh... I pull yeah, out a I spoon and I put the cookie in it and I start heating it up. <laughs> okay, I, I guess we're, we're just we're gonna have to look through some of the doors as we can find a way out. I think that is what we'll have to do. Unfortunately, we don't have much of a choice. Um, hmm. Did we actually try this door here? No. Well, I guess we could start with this one here and work our way up. I will ready a bomb. I will uh, ready, you know, a flurry of blows. Um, and we will have the comatose cleric open the door. Okay, <laughs> comatose cleric. I mean, okay. user is a battering ram. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Good. Exactly. Yeah. I like this. Oh my god. I mean, I want, so we don't want to throw the door open. We just want to, like, just, like, just open the door enough to see if something really bad will slam the door closed. <laughs> After I put arrows inside. Oh, okay. I mean, if the door's open, I can shoot it in at oh. the same time. So Kill you it? do see a little bitty, a little fay. Mm. Like a, like a, a fay. Like a fairy. Or... What size is this fairy? Hey, it's about some... the same size as you. Oh, shit, like the size of a cat. All right. Uh, I look at it real curiously. Like, uh, hello there. Hi. What are you doing here? I don't know. Okay. Uh, I'm going to shoot it. I... <laughs> you shoot it? Oh, oh my god. Yeah. I was going to be like, let's just close the door. I shoot Okay. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Like, hi there. <laughs> Every one of those hits. Oh my god. <laughs> you, you you pin the fairy to the wall. Wow! It does, wow! It's not dead. Holy shit! But like it's dead. You pin oh, its corpse to the wall. Guys, uh, you guys. Um, oh, Craddock, was was that necessary? I think you just. She was being it. evasive. She said it. You, if you're I in the prison, it. you damn well know why you were put here. I mean, maybe she forgot. I I know somebody who forgets things. Look oh, well, she's not oh. gonna forget this. Oh. 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 Yes, there's a very oh. permanent solution to a very temporary problem. Okay. I'll uh, go I'll go in there and I'll search the body and put it in my backpack. The, the body? Oh. Yeah, my trail rations just went up to seven. <laughs> oh, wait, can I roll a knowledge check to understand what, what the more about this thing? As you're like, well, wait, wait, wait a second. I think I remember something. Can I roll something? I I don't know what fairies are. One sec. Uh, their fa fay is. I want to say nature, but I could be wrong with that. Uh, Unless they're uh, planes, it might be planes. I'm checking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> um 
Okay, so we'll just go nature. All right. Okay, here we go. Twenty one. So this was a fairy. You know that fairies are normally neutral good and are um they normally are a little bit on the chaotic side but of neutral, but generally they are good. Uh, generally. So it generally. could have been an evil fairy. Does this look like an evil fairy? Nope. Our fairy. Uh, is there anything else in here with the fairy? Um, no. Just saying, this fairy has been in a in a in a stone box with a door for who knows how long, just sitting here by itself. So, I love how you're trying to rationalize it. <laughs> I just killed something that's probably neutral good, and you're sitting there trying to. Oh, oh, uh, it was evil. It was evil. Is it, it was. I'm, 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 I'm trying really hard to not be like, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! He sets up a frame and puts a dagger next to the fairy. <laughs> and puts the, da the fairy's the head all over it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and we have to find a way to leave the bow with it or something that shot itself three times. <laughs> um, I, I will say, I go. Sorry, oh. this would be a pixie, not a fairy. Oh. Oh, well, then is a pixie also the same description? Yeah, then? we took a small thing. Normally well, invisible. That probably wasn't necessary, Gretik. Um, It probably wasn't going to hurt us. I don't, they're usually good. It's it's done. It's done now, I guess. Uh, what? Ah, oh, jeez. I killed something good? Y yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. Here. Here. Just, Why was it being just, evasive? Why did I have to do that? I just uh, just come out of there. Let's. Um, does the fairy have anything on it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <were> to hope. <laughs> yes, yes, it would. <laughs> <sighs> oh god, I don't know if I should take it though. Oh fuck. I'll get it. I'm curious more than anything, actually. Really, I mean, doing if you're like you know plus six uh, circlet of wisdom, then I I don't think Gladic would be able to walk away from that. We need any advantage we can to get out of here alive. This is true. This is true. Um. Do you know where there are probably advantages? Deeper in the the uh, dungeon. Lots of powerful artifacts to help you get out. So she has that. Perfect. Wow. Well, okay, this is this is good, Grandma. Um, we don't have to eat the drow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I I uh, I guess I only one of you can wear it, though. Does she, she have anything else? Yes, I'm getting it real fast. Okay. I forgot what it was. This ring must be really me. small, I'm guessing. Yeah, as soon as you take it off her cold, like I want to, I want to, I just want to point point out that like she's small. It's like if you stapled a cat to a wall with arrows. That that's that's pretty much what it is. And she's got these pretty like pink and blue wings. Ah, They're just God. And... Ah. I'm just gonna ah. kind of back into a corner and start rocking back and forth, holding my head. <laughs> Oh, we opened a door with something that couldn't possibly hurt us, and we're still un unbelievably hurt. Damn this fucking dungeon! 